Carson was um, 16 when we first found out he had cancer. I was diagnosed in January of 2016, my junior year of high school, and I had acute myeloid leukemia. When I got diagnosed, I, I really got like scared that I would actually die. I went through four rounds of chemo, which lasted about five months, and I was hospitalized for most of that time. I um, was declared in remission in May of 2016, so I've been in remission for about a year and a half now, and now I'm a freshman at Samford, and I'm a nursing major. He was a phenomenal kid. Um, but he was more than a kid. People have said he did more in 17 years than most people do in 70. Um, he left a legacy. I hear stories every day about the impact you know, that he left on someone's life. Hope is hard to find when you're going through chemo. The amazing thing is the majority of these kids are going to live incredible, healthy lives. Um, and we just want to be able to provide them a sense of hope, of normalcy, of love. We also want to be able to give them some foundation for their life after cancer so that cancer does not define them, that they can go on to live normal lives with families and to be able to give back and to give back and me mentor um, maybe a camper or maybe a, a patient who's had the same cancer that they've had or the same amputation they've had and so that they can go and be the one and say I survived this and I made it through. Having hope means having a future, having a plan and Smile a Mile really gives that to patients. They gave it to me. Um, I know having a camp to look forward to, having friends who I knew loved me and accepted me with my cancer or without it was incredibly hope-giving. I received a scholarship from Smile a Mile to go to Samford and to study nursing. Um, and I decided to become a nurse after I was diagnosed and spent all the time in the hospital because I, I want to be able to give back in the same way that so many nurses poured into me and I cannot thank Smile a Mile enough for giving me the chance to do that. I first got scared, but then when, when I got to meet my counselor and, my, and I got to um, see some new friends that, like, that would like, know what I'm talking about, what I'm going through, and about like chemo, then when I came back, I got like, um, I got like less scared of everything. Got like more focused on what was my future. You know, we've been told by the medical staff at Children's that we are part of the medical care team. That when children who believe that they can be healed and that they are going to have a successful treatment, that when they believe that, they do better. Healing for me, like, it means like, recovering and like um, just like like being together and and being as like a family we may meet the sibling after the patient has passed away and so for us it's so important to walk with them and be that constant and for them to always understand that we're gonna be there with them and for them, no matter where their journey takes them. Kelly kept telling me, Jim, we're just gonna love on her. We're just gonna let her know that, that it's okay and that it's okay to be a kid. Um, it's also okay to cry. It's okay to, um, to have emotion and being around other kids that have gone through exactly what she has gone through, that was okay. I'd already lost one child, but just as a parent knowing that she was gonna be taken care of and gonna be loved, that was a big deal. Those who support us, those who volunteer with us, those who make donations, 
they too are part of the care team because they are helping to provide hope, healing, and love for our families. Looking back, I could never have imagined being where I am today at Samford, but Smile a Mile got me here. They did. They gave me the support that I needed and the love and encouragement that I needed, and I am so glad to have them. Thank you, Smile a Mile, for giving me hope. Thank you, Smile Mile, for helping me healing and also having hope in my life. Thank you, Smile Mile, for showing our family love. Please give. I know that it's hard to do with so many organizations that need money. It's hard to decide where to give it to, but Smile a Mile does incredible work and they reach so many children and so many families that it's just an amazing organization.